Hello everybody, welcome back to Cracked Up Games, and welcome back to the Silent Age. Um, here we are starting Chapter 3, The Machine. We just escaped a... Um, trying to think of the right word. I guess derelict could be. It, um, abandoned police station after time traveling into what appears to be a post-apocalyptic future. We're trying to get to that hospital there in the distance. Um, I will go ahead and note that I do apologize when it comes to the face cam position. I know it blocks some stuff. I don't really know a better place to put it for this playthrough. Because if I have it up in the top left, it ends up blocking text. If I have it in the top right, it can still end up blocking text. If I have it on the bottom left, it blocks the inventory. And if I have it on the bottom right, it's going to be blocking a potentially decent portion of the screen. So I can see the hospital. I bet the time traveler was brought there after they rest or arrested me. If there's any chance I might find some answers, this would be the place to start. I'm going to bust it up motorcycle. This motorcycle is nothing but busted up junk now. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and read the, like, text a little bit more whenever there's not actual, like, voice acting so that the face cam covering it up won't be as big of a deal. See, so yeah, I'm not touching that because that is poison ivy. Let's see, back door the light okay um walk into the light jeez that thing almost scared me half to death what thing devices oh oh that's right i forgot about that the um the old man in the first episode mentioned that the time travel device was solar powered oh wow okay wait who First off, who is a planter of poison ivy? Don't think anyone actually planted this, but it got here anyway. Why is it there? Motorcycle. There's a screwdriver in here. Congratulations. Beautiful. Always wanted to learn how to ride. I'd grow my mustache and burns, get a leather jacket, and just live on the road. See. Not far away from the hospital. I just need to get out of here first. Front windows. Need to get them. Get moving if I if. A, want to avoid a striped tan for the rest of my life? I assume it means I. Don't know why there was an A. Alright, so that's still locked. Uh, what about this back door now? It's a fire escape ladder, but I don't have anything to reach that. Nope, that's still locked. Fire escape ladder? Fire escape ladder is just too high up to reach, even if I jump. Okay, um... Can I... Okay, so the back door is just outright blocked, not locked. Can I, like, shimmy this with the screwdriver? Lucky it was a slam lock. I have used everything except for keys to actually unlock doors in this game. Umbrella. Can I take that? Yes. Garage door. I think it's the station garage. I should really get out of here fast. The car could be coming out any minute. Seems to be a lot of activity in there, and I hear faint shouting. I have a bad feeling I have something to do with it. Uh, most likely, because you kind of just completely disappeared from an interrogation room. Part of me is tempted to just see if I can walk right in the entrance, but I'm sure that won't go well. Door is locked. Okay, cool. I wasn't actually... I'm not trying to take it. I'm trying to walk to the next group. Am I missing something? Where am I actually supposed to be going? I haven't had many great ones lately, but this is a really stupid idea. They're probably already looking for me. Right. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Can I use the umbrella with myself? Like, it won't let me just walk to the next screen or anything. Use the umbrella with the police car. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I think I might need to do... 
Umbrella won't save it from a rusty death. Okay, hold on. Do I need to use the umbrella with the fire escape ladder? Use the end of the handle as a hook. Yep, get, get. Darn you. Stop panning, camera. Yes. There we go, okay. Okay, so it's a hotel. Apartment. That's locked. Well, yeah, this says hotel. Why are these apartments? Should just be room 1G and 1F. What in the world? Great looking pants. Are you sure? Whoever lives here has great taste in threads. Laundry. Detergent smells so homely. I'm still not sure if I'm imagining this whole thing. It screws in my head more than anything. I'm actually surprised you could smell the detergent in the rain. I would think it would just smell like wet. Also, I feel bad for whoever's drying the laundry up here because, again, it is raining. There's the hospital over there. Why am I taking this carpet? Yeah, no, I have no idea why I'm taking the carpet. Uh, use the carpet with the laundry. Hospital building. Traveler must be there. He's gotta be. Uh, use the carpet on the hospital. <laughs> I was thinking more like the paraglider in Breath of the Wild or something. Uh, carpet on the apartment. I don't know what I'm using this for. I really don't. Use the carpet on the back door? I'm not trying to use the carpet as a lockpick. You said the door is blocked. I'm trying to see if the carpet can slide under it and do something with whatever's inside there. I'm trying to get rid of the ivy, not keep it warm. Okay, that's actually funny. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't know what I'm using this carpet with. Motorcycle? windows with the carpet. I don't know. I don't know why I have a carpet. Cover the police no. Cover the door. Police would appreciate an outside door. I don't know what I'm doing with this carpet. Time to read science. I need to get. Hold on. Am I being dumb? I think I'm being dumb again. Oh, nightstick. And I just up a little. I didn't exactly expect to find another corpse in there. Oh. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see that with the dark interior. Entrance of the police station is boarded up. Why is it boarded up from the outside? boarded up. I can only imagine why they had to do that and I don't want to. I actually am very curious about that because there are people still inside there and it's boarded up again from the outside. Nothing's going on in there. In fact, the whole street is dead quiet. It creeps me out. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I can time travel, so garage door opens automatically but even if there was power, it only opens from the inside. Alright, so what I need to do then is go up the fire escape and then use it here. See what happens.
still locked? Yes, apparently. Can I still ring the doorbell? Nope. Okay, more poison ivy covering this. Great, the whole door is covered in poison ivy. I gotta get rid of this. Back to the present. And now use it. Oh, hey, there's a hole. Hey, the pants are still here. Polyester. Can't beat it. Well, here I go. Lamp. Been a long time since this lamp brought light to anyone's life. Torn wallpaper. Oh, hello. Yeah, that actually is very lazy renovation. How much of a view? Just more apartment buildings. It's a wonder they get light in here at all. The key seems to have broken off in the lock. Door to apartment 1G. Can right. I get in here? Crud, the handle's missing. Alright, to the present then. Oh, jeez. Curtains. Oh, that. Okay. That's better. Oh, hey. I was thinking a paint bucket, but apparently paste. Whoever was decorating the walls, they sure left in a hurry. Recently, too. The paste is still sticky. This might be a strange comment at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. I'm totally digging that wallpaper. Okay, you do that, I guess. Let's see. Investigate the lamp. You can actually see the outline of the door there. Why is there a key inside the lamp, exactly? The key in the lampshade. I wonder what that's for. Can I use it on this door? Yes, I can. Alright, so that's apartment 1F. I still don't know why I have this carpet. I'm not missing anything in this room. I don't know. I don't know why I have any of these items right now. All right, there's something I need to do with this poison ivy. No. Just go back. I need to ruin the soil. Okay, do I pour the wallpaper paste in there? Done. It's seeping into the soil. There we go. So now the poison ivy in the future should be gone, and I can use, I mean, and I can get into this door, hopefully. Apartment yeah. 1G. Oh, well, I have a handle now. Oh, hey, the door's actually open in the... That's an interesting implication, actually. Door was still open and the pattern of the wallpaper here. It wasn't long after the present that whatever happens ends up causing an apocalypse because nobody ever came to close this door apparently. Busted TV. Just see, I'm not sure what I would watch even if there were. Front door is all blocked off. So even if the door handle hadn't broken off, I wouldn't have been able to get in anyways. Tree blocking that window. Alright, back to the prison. This back alley I should be able to slip into. It's not too far down either. Unfortunately, this is another of those windows that don't open. Modern art, if you say so. I don't get it. It's a bunch of squares. Miss the times when paintings made sense, like the one where the dogs play poker. That doesn't make sense either. Okay, well that lamp's on, whatever good that does me. It's on, looks like a special news bulletin. Government denies any serious threat and assures us that the fatal incidents we've been reporting all morning are all completely natural and unrelated. Okay, so there's multiple people have been killed. Nixon's currently aboard the Air Force One, headed to, for an important but undisclosed meeting. However, the press, uh, 
And that's it for the special news bulletin. It seems like it's all false, false alarm, folks. We now bring you the latest international news from Gregory Smith. What have you got for us, Greg? Anything else? Something about a flu pandemic, rising gas prices, and the latest news from the war. I, For a second, my brain just kind of derped out, and I thought that said water instead of war. Okay, what good does that do me, opening that door? Now, see, that gets closed back. But I don't know why I'm in here. This really didn't do anything for me. Do I smash the TV? No, I'm being dumb. Smash the window. Yep, there we go. And into the future. Now there's a tree branch. Uh, yes, I'm trying to go out the... I'm trying to use the tree branch to get down. Carpet would most likely shield me from the broken glass if that huge tree didn't make it impossible to get through, that is. Okay, then use the carpet there. Well, now I know why I've... The, I could still see the glass sticking up through that carpet. Chapter 4, The Entry. Just trash. No, wait, there's a broom head down there. Okay. Second there, I got all excited by the thought of renewing my old broom without filling out acquisition forms. It's a butcher shop. Air from the fan has a slight hint of fresh meat and cleaning supplies. It's a butcher shop. I know property prices in this town are through the roof, but who in their right mind would open a butcher shop right next to a hospital? Valid question, actually. It's a little strange. A button. Nice. Hey, it opened the door. Things are finally looking up for me. It's a passage to the hospital. Let me just check around. See what's going on in the future. Broken plate. Something round underneath the dirt. Interesting. Oh, meat hook. Why is it sticking out through the window? It's a somewhat scary looking meat hook. Yeah, I'm not sure why that was sticking out through the window though. Oh, I see. Okay, you can actually see... I guess that's maybe a manhole? But you can see it past the bin there. Oh wait, hold on. I know what to do. Use the broom head. Manhole cover, and use the meat hook. Alright, I'm not actually going to go in there yet. Because I just want to see what's going on over here first. Bottle of turpentine, corrosive and flammable. This should come in handy. I probably shouldn't run off with the whole bottle. The painter will notice it's gone and alert the officer. Okay, yes, there's a police officer right there. So that's why I can't go that way. That's why I need the manhole. Bar from the ladder. It's a loose rung from the ladder. I'm taking it with me. If anything survived this world, it'll be hungry by now and I need something to defend myself. Accurate. It's probably been years since this worked. Rubble. Even if I somehow made it through those bars, there's like two tons of girders and other rubble in the way. Oh god, it's dark. Okay, let's go over next to the switch. There we go. More iron bars. Give it a few weeks and I'll probably be slim enough to slip through those. There's gotta be a better way though. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't know what I'm doing. The bar? Yeah, okay. The bar here? Heck, if I know. 
Alright, time to go in front of the hospital and then use the... Whatchamacallit there. Hey, a beehive. Is that what I need the iron bar for? Pinata the hornet's nest? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Corpse. It's a lighter wedge between its ribs. I won't be needing it. He won't be needing it anymore. No. No, I'm not getting allergic. I mean, I'm not getting any closer. I'm crazy allergic to bees. I fell off the roof of an apartment building cleaning windows in 65. I knocked over a bee's nest and held onto the drain pipe for 35 minutes before the fire department showed up. They removed 137 stingers at the hospital. Said I was lucky to be alive. Didn't feel so lucky to me. I've been allergic ever since. That's an interesting thing, because um, it's locked. The padlock is so rusty it rattles. Can I smack it? Yes, I can. Got it. The lock broke. It's a bone saw. Apart from the goop, it doesn't even look like it's been used. Let's get the train. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting thing is... Um, I don't know a whole lot of things that people can develop. Um, allergies from... But I know that bees you can like if you're overexposed to bees like if you repeatedly get stung or something then you can actually develop an allergy to them Let's see nothing really on this side oh. do I use the Bone saw on the bones, or...? No, it actually legitimately just won't let me examine it again. That's interesting. Maybe not the best idea to be in the present walking in front of the door with the cop in front of it. Alright, can I use the saw down here? I didn't actually expect that to work. Uh, why is there a mysterious syringe down here? It's a syringe. Paramedics must have dropped it down the drain. Speaking of the drain, see the hospital through the grill. I must be right in front of the entrance. Let's see more rubble. Bunch of wooden beams. Must have been left by a hobo who never finished his fort. Okay. Sewers is creating a draft. What do I need the syringe for? No. Over the rubble? Wind beams? So do I use the syringe on the turpentine? Okay, yeah, that's... That's an interesting choice. So I take the turpentine, put it on the wood, light the wood, smoke out the bees, hornets, take your pick. So 
sucks the wood and the turpentine. Whoa. Night the turpentine. Do not catch my sleeve on fire. Didn't actually pay attention to that text. I apologize. So the bees have been smoked out, so now to go inside. Chapter 5, The Corpse. That's ominous. Uh, garage? That is a severely broken down ambulance. Guess I can sit there making engine noises with my mouth while imagining I'm going somewhere really fast. It's the remains of the ambulance driver, or a mechanic. It's impossible to tell, really. Poor guy. Alright, you know what? I've cleared two chapters. I'm going to go ahead and actually end this episode here before I get too far into this one. Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, consider leaving a like. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve or anything else you wish to share, consider leaving a comment. If you like what I do and want to see more videos, then consider subscribing so you don't miss an upload. Until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.